Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to a new series called Sneakers and Stuff. It's a podcast series that I've been wanting to start for a while now, and I want to do it every week. So welcome to the first episode of Sneakers and Stuff. Hey guys, big announcement, big announcement to start off September. So it is September 1st, uh, 2020, and I wanted to start a podcast series up. Um, I wanted to do this because over the past, I would say, month or two, I have been really struggling to cover all the upcoming releases in the streetwear, fashion, sneaker, and jewelry world. It's been really, really difficult, mainly just because there's been so much stuff that I love that has been releasing recently, and it's just been really, really difficult to cover it all. And that's in part because of the job that I do. So I, um, I have a desk job, and I work about five hours every day. Uh, until recently, though, uh, in August, I got offered a temporary position uh, where I would go from doing five hours a day to eight hours a day, which is awesome. I'm, I'm so, so grateful that I have been given that temporary higher up position where I get to do eight hours of work every day. You know, it looks great for my resume. I absolutely love it. Uh, the only issue is, is that all those extra hours has completely cut back on the time that I have to do YouTube. I work from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., come home at 9 p.m., edit, upload all the videos that I recorded before my shift at 1 p.m., and I usually stay up till about 2 a.m. every night, and it's just really, really exhausting. It's just really, really hit me. Uh, August hit me like a train. I've feel, just felt exhausted. I've been unable to keep up with basically just like the basic things, like a basic sneaker release, or, uh, you know, I'm scrambling for time to cover like Supreme's latest week or something like that. So I just really thought to myself on Sunday, which is why I didn't upload anything on the 31st of August. Uh, I just really thought to myself on Sunday, I was like, you know what, I need to find a way to cover all the upcoming sneaker, fashion, uh, streetwear and jewelry releases that are happening that I'm interested in uh, for you guys. And also, you know, cover all the release details for you guys, but I need to find a way to do it that is not necessarily quick and easy, but uh, can get the point across, you know, the release details, the price. Uh, my general quick thoughts and opinions on without doing individual videos for each of the releases. And I thought, you know what? A podcast series would be awesome. A weekly podcast series, which I'm looking to do every Sunday. I know this is a little bit delayed, but I thought about it on Sunday and now I'm actually doing it on the Tuesday. But my plan is to do it every Sunday. Uh, my plan is to have various different uh, segments in the series, you know, do... Um, well, I've actually got them all written down here, my big episode one list here. So for the first episode and for all the episodes following, I want to do different segments in the podcast like uh, Sunday's Best Dressed. I thought that was kind of going to be a little bit fun. So for this podcast series, I would love to do a segment, a segment called Sunday's Best Dressed. So uh, what I want to do is feature myself in like, I don't know, my favorite outfit for Sunday or, you know, like an awesome outfit that I put together on Sunday. It'll only be like 30 seconds. It'll be like a 30 second segment of me showcasing my favorite outfit for Sunday. But I also want inputs from you guys. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Send me three out send me an outfit and i'll pick three of them that we can feature in this segment so we can do so together we can do like a sunday's best dressed i feel like that'll just be like a little bit of fun i'll just feel like that'll be a little bit of fun so if you have your favorite outfit that you did recently you know like you picked up a new release you thought it was sick and you did an outfit for it uh send it my way in my dms and we'll be able to feature it on sunday's best dressed which is my first segment here Secondly, a second segment that I want to do for this podcast series is, I mean, it's a bit of a lame name, it's a bit of a cringy name, but Heat on My Feet. So that was the second segment that I want to do. I just want to talk about, you know, like a recent pair of shoes that I have been wearing that I've really been enjoying, uh, just so I can recommend it to you guys, just so I can say, hey, this release is actually really, really good. Uh, you guys should consider picking it up or just consider picking up the model. And I'll just talk about what I've been wearing recently, just in case any of you guys are actually interested. Uh, I want to dedicate maybe like a minute or two in the actual podcast to do that. So, I mean, this episode today will definitely feature the second segment which is the heat on my feet segment uh sunday's best dressed i think we will reserve to episode two so definitely shoot some outfits my way before 
this coming Sunday uh, on Instagram. Shoot me, shoot them to me on Instagram, and we'll definitely feature them in episode two. But episode one won't have any uh, Sunday's best dressed uh, segment. Uh, the third segment that I want to do is recent releases. So any releases that I wasn't able to cover, um, I will talk about them in the recent releases. I'll cover briefly, you know, what they are, how much they released for, and where they released for, and maybe some quick thoughts and opinions on it there. Uh, what I'll also try and do is, uh, this podcast series isn't going to take away from the fact that I will keep doing my streetwear talk and sneaker talk videos. I'm still going to do those videos. Those videos will be dedicated to basically the releases that I cover in this podcast series, but they will just go into more depth and more detail about, you know, maybe things like the materials that the sneaker releases use, um, the history behind those releases, um, my thoughts and opinions on the, like, further thoughts and opinions on that release. I definitely will be doing the sneaker talk and streetwear talk videos still it's just that in this podcast series i want to just like briefly cover the releases in the recently releases field and also in my fourth and fifth um oh no sorry then no, sorry those segments come later so yeah going back to that i still want to do my streetwear talk and sneaker talk videos and we'll discuss that a little bit later with my next couple segments so after doing recently uh recent releases you know releases that i missed on covering We'll do streetwear news. Uh, streetwear news. That segment will be dedicated to covering uh, up, like upcoming or recently released uh, collections. So, like for an example, a brand's fall winter 2020 collection. Why I think it's cool. What I like about it. Uh, you know why you guys should check it out. And also, it'll include like rumors. You know, like upcoming releases that we have had rumors of, but no official confirmation. Stuff like that. So news and rumors about streetwear will be that. Uh, segment there we'll also have the same segment after that but for sneakers so i'll do a segment on uh sneaker news and sneaker rumors so if there's like a leaked image of an upcoming sneaker or um you know an upcoming a uh, recently released sneaker that i think went under the radar that everyone should check out that'll be covered there in that segment as well so yes, as you can tell, we're going to have a lot of segments in this podcast. This podcast is going to be quite long. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm aiming for a week, an episode a week. Uh, we're going to do all of that. It's going to be fun. I'm actually really looking forward to it. So we have Sunday's Best Dressed as segment one, Heat on My Feet as segment two, Recent Releases, which will include streetwear and sneakers as segment three, segment four, we have streetwear news, and segment five, we have sneaker news. Segment six is going to be streetwear releases. Now, this is upcoming streetwear releases that have just been confirmed or we have, you know, full confirmation on and, you know, a full look on. I'm not going to dive into a lot of detail about these releases. That's what the streetwear talk videos are for. So as I mentioned, I'm still going to be doing the streetwear talk and sneaker talk videos. I will briefly talk about the upcoming streetwear releases in this podcast. But then I'll dive into more detail in its individual episode in the Streetwear Talk episodes. So I hope that fills in the gap for you there, guys. So for segment six, we're going to have Streetwear releases covering all the upcoming Streetwear releases. If you guys want more details and you want me to cover every single piece in that collection, you just got to hold out for that Streetwear Talk video, which hopefully will come out after the podcast airs maybe a couple of days down the line. Then for segment number seven, I mean, it's quite obvious we had segment number six dedicated to streetwear. So segment number seven is going to be the sneaker releases, the upcoming sneaker releases that are coming out in the next week or so, you know, week to two weeks. Uh, I'll briefly cover the release details, the retail price, everything like that. And then down the line, a couple days closer to the release date, I'll do a sneaker talk episode where I'll, you know, cover the materials, cover my in-depth thoughts and opinions, how I would style it, stuff like that. I'll go further into detail in the sneaker talk episode, but that's my plan. Uh, I want to have a podcast series where I have those seven segments uh, and we'll do it on a weekly basis. That's what I want to do. So today is that first episode. I know it's a um, it's a bit of a shocker. <laughs> you guys probably probably weren't ready for that. You probably were, you know, not expecting me to do a new like a new series or a podcast series. But uh, yeah, I just felt like a podcast series would take a lot of the weight off my shoulders 
to cover all the upcoming releases and i think it would be better for you guys because then you guys can just get like quick fire you know release details and uh you know you don't have to wait for a video like it'll all be just like quick and stuff like that i think that's just it's just going to be more beneficial for everyone uh, and if you want me to do, uh, if you want me to cover any of the things that we cover in the podcast in more detail, just let me know in the comment section below and then I can do like a streetwear talk video or a sneaker talk video on that particular thing that we talk about in the podcast today. So yeah, I'm really, really keen to start it off with. So um, I think the best thing that we can do now is to move on to our first segment, which is not... Sunday's best dressed because as I said we're going to hold out till episode two to get that done but we're going to hold out we're going to do our first segment which is heat on my feet let's go head on over and start off our first segment for this episode which is heat on my feet so to start off our first segment for our first episode of sneakers and stuff I'm going to be doing heat on my feet and the pair that I want to talk about today that I have recently really really been enjoying is the 2016 black metallic fives dude i am telling you i never owned a pair of fives until i bought these and this was probably the best jordan five that i could have bought to start it off with og branding so nike air on the uh on the back nike on the bottom uh nike air on the insole that's all the og branding that it has on it It's just an amazing shoe. The uh, Nubuck on it is so, so comfortable. I was a bit hesitant because I don't own any shoes with Nubuck on it. And it is just like the most comfortable material. The padding around the back of the Fives heel, amazing. It is so, so comfy. I like its chunky aesthetic. It is very much a wider, chunkier shoe. But if you wear these with like some straight leg jeans, a big baggy outwear piece, you can look really 90s and it just really is a really good image of 90s sneakers right here. So for segment number one, which is going to be heat on my feet, uh, it's going to go to the Air Jordan 5 Black Metallic 2016 Retro. This thing is insane. I've been absolutely loving it recently. Let me know in that comment section below what your uh, heat on your feet is for this week. Uh, what is a sneaker that you've been enjoying this week? What is a retro that you've been enjoying this week? Let me know in that comment section below. But for me, it's going to be the Jordan 5 2016 retro of the Black Metallics. Awesome, awesome shoe. Uh, We'll move on to our second segment now for this episode, which is going to be the recent releases segment. So to start off our second segment, I love this. It feels like I'm like a sneaker streetwear news reporter. (laughs) So our second segment that we're starting off with is recent releases. And to kick that off, we're going to talk about the 1460 program uh, that released in August, which is the Needles collaboration with Doc Martens. So we've covered a lot on the channel. Uh, Every month for this year, 2020, Doc Martens is releasing a 1460 in collaboration with a contemporary brand or designer. Uh, For August, it was the uh, Needles. Uh, It was Needles, the brand Needles that collaborated with Doc Martens, and they released a pair of 1460s. Now, this 1460 was primarily inspired by the... I would say the tracksuit um, aesthetic that Needles has as a brand. So Needles, I would say, is known for their tracksuits and use of wacky colors on uh, a lot of uh, contemporary silhouettes of, um, you know, clothing and stuff like that. And they applied that thinking to a pair of 1460s. So they applied a sportier look to the 1460s, which was a very unique, unique take on the 1460s. Uh, released on August 28th uh, on the Doc Martens web store. From what I've heard, it released earlier in some other places, but that was the official release on the Doc Martens web store. Uh, we, I probably will do a sneaker talk episode to cover that shoe, as we you know, have covered every single 1460 remastered release uh, this year so far. So there's probably going to be a sneaker talk video down the line there for that one there. Next, for the second recent release, we have the Yeezy 700 V3. I think it's Azareth. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ar- Ar- Azareth? I, some biblical character. I honestly don't know. Either way, uh, it released on August 29th on the Adidas Web Store and Yeezy Supply. 200 USD for the men's sizing, 130 USD for the kids, 100 USD for the infants. 
Uh, the reason this one was cheaper than the other Yeezy 700 models is because it's the V3s. The V3s don't feature any boost technology in them, so they reduce the price because it doesn't have that uh, technology in it. Uh, that released on August 29th. I don't know if we'll do a sneaker talk video on that one, so I'll just quite quickly talk about what my thoughts and opinions are on the colorway. Uh, the blending of blue with white worked really, really well. The color blocking was pretty good. It was a pretty solid release. It was a good use of blue. I didn't mind it too much, but yeah, that released on August 29th. Uh, Adidas Web Store and Easy Supply, 200 USD for men's, 130 for kids, and 100 USD for infants. They can have a full baby uh, family size in there of this Yeezy, so you can have a full family of Yeezy 700 Azareth Sorb, however you pronounce it. Moving on to our third release that happened uh, recently, we have the Anti-Social Social Club Phase Clan collaboration. Uh, this released on August 29th, 2020 on their web store. I think it's... I want to say 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is their normal release time. Uh, the highlights of that collection that released was a fully built PC. <laughs> yeah, um, crazy. Uh, understandably, because FaZe Clan is a clan of gamers, uh, they did a lot of gaming stuff for this collection. They did a PC, uh, they also did a bunch of controllers, and of course, because Anti-Social Social Club is a clothing brand, they did some clothing as well. Uh, it was a pretty crazy collection, and that released on August 29th. Uh, moving on, we had on, as well on August 29th, we had the Bape X Marilyn Run Monroe collection. Uh, this featured a bunch of graphic tees with uh, Marilyn Monroe being altered to be styling in Bape camoed clothing. It was, it was an okay collection. Uh, it released worldwide in a bunch of BAPE, out, uh, you know, BAPE stores, um, BAPE stockists, everything like that. It was a collection that's been teased for a while now. I remember the initial teaser came out like two to three weeks ago, but it finally got its official release on August 29th there. Uh, it wasn't too bad. If you're honestly, if you're a big fan of Marilyn Monroe and you're a big fan of BAPE, uh, it was definitely a must have graphic tee collection there. And it released on August 29th, 2020. Moving on, we had uh, on August 28th, we had the Sean Witherspoon Adidas Stan Smiths. Uh, these have been teased a while now, all the way back to like March or something like that, I think. And they finally got a release. Uh, these are the Stan Smiths that uh, Sean Witherspoon tried to put as much re recyclable materials or recycled materials in it. And he's been talking about that for ages now. So it's vegan leather, it's recycled um, plastic and recycled thread, I think. Everything he tried to do as recycled as possible for this sneaker. And it's all part of Adidas's new campaign to save the world. A very nice little campaign there. Uh, the shoe itself, I didn't mind too much. Um, it was a little bit crazy. I don't know how I feel about the like draping threading that falls off of it. I think that was a bit of a weird touch there. I kind of would have liked my threading neatly cut off. I mean, that's just me, but maybe you'll disagree. Uh, this released on August 28th for 110 USD or 160 Australian dollars as it did actually release on the Australian uh, Adidas store, which um, I know, I'm shocked. <laughs> but yeah, that released then. Moving on, we had also the Warren Lotus uh, NBA uh, Kobe drop. Um, recently, it was Kobe Bryant's birthday and Warren Lotus, instead of doing a second drop of his uh, Marvel-inspired collection, he did his, you know, classic NBA collection featuring a lot of Lakers stuff. Uh, I assume I, this was to commemorate that it's Kobe's birthday, you know, he unfortunately passed away earlier on in the year, so Warren Lotus did a little bit of a drop for him. Uh, because of the recent heat that Warren Lotus is in, a lot of people felt like this collection was a cash grab. You can tell me what your thoughts and opinions are on it down in that comment section below, but uh, yes, that collection released on the 31st on Sunday. Uh, obviously when I was thinking about doing this podcast series, so we didn't get to cover it. Lots of cool pieces there. The hoodies were definitely a must have. And if you're a fan of jerseys, you could also get a uh, Warren Lotus jersey there. Now, last but not least, we have our final recent release that we're covering in this second segment, which is the Kith Monday program. Yes, Kith on the uh, 1st of September. 
released out, yeah, was the, is, was it the 1st of September, was it the 30th? Oh, it was the 31st, so sorry, the Warren Lotus drop would have dropped on the 30th, because the 30th was Sunday. Uh, so the 31st of August, which was Monday, uh, Kith released a bunch of dip dye teas. Uh, I kind of felt like this Kith, Kith release was kind of underwhelming. It was three dip dyed teas, so the bottom of the teas are, are white, and then the top of the teas have been colored, because the whole idea is that it's been dipped in dye. Eh, it was alright. It wasn't the most exciting Monday program we've seen this year. I think it was just a Monday program to fill the Monday program that they do. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a, a really fantastic one, but that's okay. It, as, I, it, as I always say, it doesn't have to be a big Monday program release there. But yes, uh, Kith did the dip dye tease for that Monday program. So uh, that is it. That is all the recent releases that um, I have written down here. We will now move on to the streetwear news and rumors segment, which is segment number three. Uh, we've got a lot installed there, guys. So let's head on over to segment number three and go cover the streetwear news and rumors. Okay, guys, so to start our third segment off in streetwear news and rumors, we'll start off with the rumors. There isn't too many this week. Uh, this one's coming from last week that I just thought I'd repeat this week. So last week, Supreme did not do a week two. It is being delayed and released this week. But the uh, anticipated release for week two was an alleged collaboration with Yoji Yamamoto. If you don't know who Yoji Yamamoto is, he's a contemporary uh, Japanese fashion designer who's been designing clothes for decades. He's known for his draping aesthetic. So a lot of the pieces that he does are meant to flow off the body, kind of looking like clothing meets water in a way. If I had to describe it, I suppose, I really, really love his outwear, his trench coats, his pea coats, his blazers, just any of his, give me any of his outwear and I absolutely love it. I think his designs are really, really cool. Uh, a lot of people were very hit or miss on how they feel about Supreme collaborating with Yoji Yamamoto. Um, a lot of high fashion people were feeling, oh, I don't want Yoji Yamamoto to be tainted by Supreme. But I mean, honestly, Supreme does a lot of collaborations with a lot of, a lot of contemporary designers, Undercover, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. And they're very tasteful. I think they're actually very, very nice. So I had no issues with it. Uh, it didn't get a release on the second week because obviously it got delayed. It's not releasing this week by the looks of it. Um, who knows if it actually will ever release or if it's just a rumor. But um, I actually wouldn't mind a Yoji Supreme collaboration because I feel like Yoji would have um, most of the creative control. So I feel like it would be quite tasteful. So uh, hopefully this season we do get one. That would definitely be a collaboration to remember. But that is the first rumor that we have in this segment here. The second segment, uh, sorry, the second rumor in this segment, uh, we have a Bape X OVO uh, rumor. So uh, yes, October's very own, Drake's um, essentially, I would say clothing brand, I suppose, is collaborating with famous Japanese streetwear brand Bape. Um, but this is a rumor, take it with a grain of salt. It has appeared in a Japanese magazine but there has been no confirmation either by OVO or by BAPE. So I feel like if it's appeared in a Japanese magazine, because BAPE is a Japanese brand, it's not going to get a release either in the West or around the world, uh, or even a release in Japan until, you know, quite far away. If it's just appearing in magazines, it's going to be a while till we get a release there. But uh, that's a rumor that has propped up over the past couple of days. And I thought you guys might be interested in that there. So I thought we'd just mention that one. I will now move on to the streetwear news and talk about some latest collections that I have really been, uh, you know, enjoying. And you guys should definitely go check out. So uh, recently, A-Leak Studios has released their Fall Winter 2020 collection. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of A-Leaks ever since I bought the bracelet and matching necklace uh, from their Spring Summer 2020 collection. I've been a real big fan of them for a while now, and in Spring Summer 2020, I decided to pull the plug and finally buy some pieces from them. Uh, I really love their accessories and outwear. I think Matthew M. Williams does a really good job with A-Leak Studios. I think it finally puts um, uh, you know, like a point in good US designers versus the rest of the regions in the world. Because when I think of US designers, I think of brands that have like really become uh, slaves to capitalism and they just like pump out clothing like Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren. They just like pump out clothing. 
and they don't really focus too much on being new and fresh with their designs. I know I'm like, it sounds like I'm really beating up Tommy and like Ralph there. I do love both brands, but I feel like they just, they release too much. And I feel like if they just pulled it back a little bit and released less releases and focused more on their releases, I feel like they could really hit a comeback. Uh, there is like, uh, I know that Ralph Lauren does a purple label where the, exactly that happens. They focus on the designs more, the use of materials, things like that. Uh, that's a good approach as well. I think if they, you know, paid more attention to that, they'd be able to hit that off more. But enough about those brands. Um, going back to Matthew M. Millions and uh, A-Leak Studios. Um, yeah, I really think he's a really, really good contemporary American designer. Absolutely love his stuff. Uh, the outwear and the accessories that have released in the fall winter 2020 collection are awesome uh, one of the accessories that i like the most out of this collection is the neck warmer it's really really expensive because i mean that's a league studios <laughs> but uh the neck warmer with the buckle on it i know it's super basic it's very stereotypical a league studios but I think that goes hard. So I thought I'd just mention that one for you. Uh, definitely go check out a -Leak Studios' Instagram. Uh, their Fall Winter 2020 collection is definitely something you guys should go pick something up from. Moving on, we have a Japanese brand coming up. Uh, uh, what I have been paying attention to recently, and you guys should definitely go check out, is Neighborhood's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Ooh, man. Man. When we covered Kith's Monday program just before their summer 2020 collection where they did a patchwork bandana Monday program, Neighborhood took it to the next level and expanded on that and did this absolutely, oh my god, insane amount of pieces for their fall winter 2020 collection. Uh, that fe It's like bandana meets patchwork meets galaxies and it's just insane man like they're the outwear in that collection the oversized bandana patchwork galaxy outwear Oof. god damn dude it is insane it is insane if there is a japanese collection that you check out recently it is definitely neighborhoods for winter 2020 collection as the patchwork galaxy bandana print stuff is just it's next level. It is next level stuff. I would love to pick up something from it, but neighborhood is uh, it's very pricey. It's, it's very expensive. So I might be holding out on that one, but I can admire it from afar because that collection just looks absolutely insane. Moving on, another Japanese brand you guys should definitely keep tabs on and have a look at their recent collection is Undercover. Uh, Undercover did their Autumn Winter 2020 collection. Uh, some highlights that really stood out for me from their Autumn uh, Winter 2020 collection was their knitwear and sweaters. Uh, it's really nicely done. Uh, it features some, you know, utilitarian aspects like some pockets in, you know, unusual places. The colors look really nice. The overall silhouettes of the pieces look really, really nice. There was one that featured on their Instagram where I thought everything just came together really, really well. The colors, the fit, and just the silhouettes and everything like that. It all just came together. Definitely go check out Undercover and go check out their Autumn Winter Collection. You might not be able to pick it up from their uh, Japanese store, but there's definitely heaps of stockists that stock Undercover. So definitely go check out their Autumn Winter 2020 Collection. Uh, just like Neighborhood, they are a little bit pricey because they're a higher end brand, but I'm telling you, man, Recently, Undercover has been killing it in 2020, and they're keeping that going in their Autumn Winter 2020 collection. Uh, that's everything I really want to talk about in the Streetwear News and Rumors segment, segment three of this episode. So we'll move on to the fourth segment, which is the Sneaker News and Rumors segment. So to start off our fourth segment in Sneaker News and Rumors, I'm going to start it off with a little rumor. So... Uh, the first rumor that we have is that the, is it Civilist? C Civilist? X Nike SB Dunk Low, the Acid Trip colorway. You know, I, you guys have probably seen it on Instagram. They're sharing it everywhere. You know, you instantly open up your discovery feed and it's the first thing you see. It's like someone microwaving a pair of these shoes. Uh, what it is, is it's a pair of Nike SB Dunk Lows that are all black, but then once some heat is applied to it the paint changes to be this like acid trip colorway don't get me wrong it's really really cool but like 
I swear to God, every single time I open my discovery feed, it's there. Uh, the rumor to do with these is that we're going to get a wider release. Now, we got a release in skate shops and I think one or two regions on August 29th. But uh, I th apparently there's going to be a wider release of them later. No dates confirmed. It's a rumor. Maybe the release on August 29th was the only release that we got. But you know that the rumors rumors take it with a grain of salt but that is our first rumor to start it off with secondly we have not necessarily a rumor but it is some news uh recently i oh, i can't remember his name it's like burberry berry i whoever that ah, what, ah, i forgot his name he's a famous uh influencer i suppose he skates on instagram wearing like high fashion shoes and upcoming releases that nobody has and everyone loses their mind every single time he does it <laughs> uh, i'll link i'll showcase a video here uh he recently showcased that the off-white jordan 4 breads the ones that we initially saw way back in i want to say like 2018 or 19 at the um mca uh, art show the um off-white art show they're coming soon so the off-white jordan 4 breads are coming out at some point no release details but the fact that he was wearing them and showcasing them it has to point to some signals that we're gonna get it later on this year but uh no release details as of yet it looks like an awesome release i'm actually preferring the off-white jordan 4s that are releasing in 2020 over the recent union la jordan 4s that we covered on the channel but um yeah just thought i'd fill you in uh on that on the off-white jordan 4 breads next i mean this one's been a rumor since the start of the year i've been meaning to do a video on it since the start of the start of the year but I'm going to bring it up anyway. Um, apparently, uh, Ambush and Nike SB, are oh sorry, Nike are collaborating again to do a pair of Dunk Highs. I don't know if they're collaborating with Nike SB or just Nike. It's been showcased on a couple runways of Ambush. Uh, Yoon uh, has been teasing it. She's been letting us know that it's going to be worth the wait. It's coming. Is it going to come in 2020? I have no idea. Is it going to come in 2021? I have no idea. Is it like it's gonna come out at some point? She keeps hyping it up, and I'm just sitting here like, Yoon, release it already. <laughs> the world needs the ambush dunks. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up because that's gonna come out sometime soon. Uh, there's been a bunch of colorways shown to us. The first colorway that was shown to us was like this all pink one, this all hot pink one. I wasn't feeling that one, but then I saw an alternative colorway, which was, I think it was black and white, or it was black and something. That one looked a lot nicer so i mean hopefully it'll release sometime soon and our last rumor is that the uh nike sb strawberry cops the uh sb dunk highs that were meant to come out on 420 but then they got delayed uh they may be getting a september release it's a big maybe i mean they have been you know alleged to get a release ever since they got delayed on 420 so i mean again take that one especially with some extra grains of salt there because i don't think that one is going to come out in september but people have been posting about it people have been speculating again so i thought i'd just cover it just in case apparently the nike sb strawberry cops are getting a september release but that wraps it up uh that wraps up our sneaker news and rumors so now we'll move on to our fifth segment which is the upcoming streetwear releases and starting off our fifth segment which is upcoming streetwear and fashion releases so to start it off with we have an upcoming bape x anti-social social club release uh this is happening i think this weekend now normally anti-social social club releases on a saturday but i'm pretty sure it is releasing on what's this saturday the fifth it'll be releasing this weekend hopefully i can get a video a streetwear talk video out in time for it but uh bape and anti-social social club it has been a while since they have collaborated together but they are releasing a 2020 collection uh no pieces have been showcased as of yet but they the rumors have come out uh bape japan was the first to post about it because bape is a little bit on a little bit more on schedule than anti-social social club uh hopefully these pieces are released on bape quality pieces and not anti-social social club quality pieces but we're just gonna have to see. So uh, yes, that is releasing this weekend, most likely Saturday, which is the fifth. Uh, but we'll get more updates when I do that video, um, when we get you know more photos and stuff like that. 
Moving on to the second release, uh, 4444 is releasing a new drop. Yes, our favorite tapestry brand. Some of you have been asking, Daniel, where's your testing crew neck sweater that you managed to cop? It's literally still on its way. There were so many delays with its release. No beef with 4444 though, I totally understand. There were so many delays with him getting the materials for the extra large and 2XL ones. And then I saw that the, mine is the 2XL ones. I was like, no, mine's literally gonna be the last to be shipped out. Uh, it got shipped out. USPS is horrible to Australia. American shipping to Australia is horrible and it takes forever and it costs heaps. So it's on its way. As soon as it arrives to my house, I will definitely unbox it for you on the channel but yes uh, going back to 4444 they are releasing a new drop on september 4th on the friday it will consist of most likely the the wolf pilot creator wolf um release the asap rocky testing oh sorry not testing uh babushka boy release and the Psycho release as well. It'll most likely be those three releases, but yeah, look forward to a new 4444 release this Friday. Uh, moving on, we have the fifth week of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. Uh, this season hasn't really been doing too much for me. I honestly think I preferred the summer collection in this this year. Uh, the autumn one's kind of been a letdown, but week five is gonna feature a Palace Looney Tunes capsule. So. Hellas taking a little note out of Kit's book there. Uh, it should be interesting. I'll definitely try and cover that in a drop list video for you guys. But yeah, look forward to Palace's fifth week of their autumn 2020 collection. Moving on, we finally get week two of Supreme's uh, fall winter 2020 collection. It'll feature a Nike collaboration uh, that has already been showcased to us on their Instagram. We haven't heard anything about the Yoji Yamamoto thing, if it's still happening or not. Maybe that'll come in week three, or maybe that just won't come at all. Uh, but yeah, going back to week two, it's finally coming. A night collaboration is being done for week two. It looks very 90s inspired. I actually quite like, like the graphics and logos because they're like taken from 90s uh, Nike pieces. So it looks really, really cool. Very, very keen for that. Uh, that'll drop this Thursday as it normally does, as every uh, Supreme Week has. But definitely stay tuned for week two. We'll try and do a drop list video and I'll try and do a streetwear talk video covering the Supreme Night collaboration there. Uh, moving on, this one's a little bit more high fashion than we normally speak upon, but uh, Mason Margiela is doing a collaboration with the North Face to do a very crazy looking collection here. Uh, this one's coming out next month, but I thought I'd just mention it now because I might forget about it in a month's time. <laughs> it's probably true. I'm probably going to forget about it in a month's time, but maybe one of you guys will remember me. But um, on October 12th, uh, we are getting a collaboration between them. Uh, it's going to be all I can think of is big price tags, um, big comfy pieces. But uh, yeah, look, if you got the cash to splash, consider picking up something from the Mason Margiela uh, North Face collaboration that is dropping on October 12th. Uh, next, we have a collection that technically dropped in Japan last Friday, but it's slowly getting pushed out to worldwide stockists. Uh, over the next coming days it released in the in an Australian stockist over the past like I would say 12 hours <laughs> So very very recent uh, and that's it the neighborhood Image Club limited collaboration on a set of NWA tees. Um, I'm a big fan of the 80s hip-hop group NWA uh, They released their amazing debut album back in the 80s. Um, it was absolutely amazing. I love the group and to um, Basically commemorate them Neighborhood is collaborating with Image Club Limited and they're printing a bunch of tees with a bunch of photos of the of the crew on them. It looks really, really cool. Absolutely love it. It's selling out fast whenever it hits a stockist. So if it lands at a stockist near you, definitely consider picking one up because it's just an awesome piece. If you're a big fan of like OG hip hop and you love Japanese brands, I mean, it's literally the two coming together. It's amazing. So uh, that's everything in upcoming streetwear and fashion releases for segment five. We'll move on to our final segment now, which is upcoming sneaker releases. 
Okay, now to start off our sixth and final segment for episode one of Sneakers and Stuff, we are doing, sorry, we're covering the Nike SB Dunk Low Chicago colorway. So yes, my favorite Jordan 1 uh, colorway is now being applied to a Dunk. It is being applied to a SB Dunk Low Pro. So you've got that Zoom Air cushioning. Uh, I don't mind it. It's actually like, I mean, the Chicago colorway is just... Just amazing. It's literally like one of the best colorways that Nike has ever done and uh, is able to apply to its sneakers. Uh, the actual silhouette though, the Dunklo silhouette, I mean, I did a poll recently on my Instagram story about, you know, do you prefer the Jordan 1 lows or the SB Dunk lows? More people were feeling the SB Dunk lows than the Chicago, uh, than the Jordan 1 lows. I'm on the other end though. I prefer the Jordan 1 lows over the SB lows. Um, but that's coming out uh, September 1st uh, for 140 Australian dollars. So it's releasing in Australia September 1st. I don't know if that's a worldwide release, if the rest of you guys are getting it in like the United States or Europe. But uh, it'll probably be releasing because generally if Australia gets it first, it's going to release either next week or in the coming week for the rest of the world because the rest of the world has a bigger stock that is releasing in their area. So generally, you know, it takes longer to ship and et cetera, et cetera. But Australia is getting it the 1st of September for 140 Australian dollars, which is like 110 USD or something like that or 100 USD. So uh, stay tuned for that. If it is releasing in your region, let me know in that comment section below. But that is the first upcoming sneaker release that we're covering in this segment. Secondly, we are going to be covering the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Crater. I think it's Crater or Cater, Crater. Uh, it is releasing on the 3rd of September 2020 for 250 Australian dollars, so around 175 USD. Uh, this Jordan 1 is done with recycled materials. It's taking a lot of uh, influence from the Space Hippie uh, collections that Nike has been doing recently. Uh, yeah, so we're getting a Jordan 1 made out of the Space Hippie materials, which is pretty crazy. And for once, it's the first Air Jordan 1 Zoom that does not have that hideous Zoom outsole. <laughs> it has this disgusting trash looking outsole, but I don't even care, man. I am just happy that they went with a different outsole for once. I was actually getting sick and tired of this like weird bluey purple outsole. I just wanted something different. I wanted something different, so I'm really happy they changed that. Uh, yeah, that's releasing on September 3rd for 250 Australian dollars or my assumed price of 175 American dollars. Moving on, we have another Jordan release. We have a Air Jordan 1 Biohack. Uh, this got teased to us a couple months ago. I was not feeling the colorway. It looks really, really whack. Uh, it's like a what the Jordan 1, but they didn't use different materials. They just used different wacky colors. It looks crazy. I mean, props to you if you want to pick that one up. I have nothing against you if you want to pick it up. I just think, like, I like my Jordan 1 colorway is kind of basic, um, or at least basic in color. I don't like this, like, weird splash of abstract colors on it it just looks really weird uh it's releasing the 4th of september on the nike store for 170 usd it's not loaded up on nike australia but it looks like it's getting a us release australia might get it later uh but allegedly it is releasing on september 4th there Moving on, we're getting a Yeezy Slides restock of the Bone colorway. So the white colorway is getting another restock. This is like the second or third one now. Uh, so good luck to all those resellers that have just like lost heaps of money there. But at the same time, we're also getting two new colorways of the Yeezy Slides, which is the Core colorway and the Soot colorway. I know Kanye has given them really, really appealing colorway names there, but they are releasing on the 4th of September for 55 US SD on Yeezy Supply and Adidas's store. So it'll most likely release on Adidas Australia as well. 55 USD or I think it's 90 Australian dollars. So stay tuned for that on the 4th of September. And for my last upcoming sneaker release that I'm going to be covering in our first episode of Sneakers and Stuff. Uh, it is the Air Jordan 5 Oregon Ducks colorway. Uh, this released as a player exclusive back in 2014. And now six years later in 2020, we are getting a general release of it to the public. Now, obviously the 2014 pair that was a player exclusive is very different from the general release 2020 pair. It looks worse. It has, I assume, worse materials. I mean, not to like beat up this release too much, but the player exclusive ones are always the much more sought after and preferred release over the general release here. But uh, that is releasing on September 12th. So next Friday uh, for 225 USD. But that rounds up 
all of our segments here, guys. Uh, let me know all your thoughts and opinions about anything we've discussed today, uh, any upcoming releases you're looking forward to, any releases that happened recently that you really loved, and, you know, maybe the heat on your feet section. What have you been wearing recently that you've absolutely loved? Uh, let me know everything you have to say uh, down in those socials in the description section, or if you can't be bothered, click in there, scroll on down, and let me know in that comment section below. But that's it guys, I'm really happy to round that off. Uh, that was episode one of Sneakers and Stuff, the new podcast series that we're going to be doing weekly on the channel every Sunday. Don't forget to send in those outfits to me on Instagram so I can feature them in the second episode, which will happen this Sunday. Uh, you'll obviously get a you know tag and a feature and everything like that. So send me some of your you know uh, isolation outfits or you know maybe you've been able to go outside some of your uh, newer outfits or outfits for any new pieces that you've picked up and I'll feature three of them in the next episode. So I don't know if I'll do a first come first serve basis, but that's probably really fair. So we'll try and do that. If not, I'll do my first three favorite ones. So yeah, send them to me there. I'm uh, really happy that I could do episode one. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know in that comment section below if you want me to keep doing this series because I really look forward to doing this uh, with the workload that I have at work at the moment. You know, it's really tough doing a full-time, essentially, yeah, a full-time job and also YouTube as well. It's really hard to keep up with upcoming releases, but I think Sneakers and Stuff, our podcast series that we're doing, I think with this, we can really stay up to date with upcoming releases. And I'll also, you know, as I said, continue to keep doing my sneaker talk and streetwear talk videos uh, where I'll dive into even more detail about, you know, all, all these releases. I won't do every single release that I just covered. I'll try and do maybe the ones that I have the most information about or just, you know, uh, the ones that just the ones I have time for. But yeah, thank you for tuning in for the first episode, guys. Uh, it'll be definitely something I'll be looking to do every week from now. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I missed out on in, in the comment section below. If there's anything, any releases that I missed out on that you want me to cover, I can potentially cover that in the next episode. But uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode then. Now, of course, uh, as I said, if you want me to keep doing episodes, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as it is now September. So we're going to aim for our new milestone of subscribers uh, this month. So hopefully if you tell two mates and then they tell two mates, we can reach our new milestone for September of 2,700 subscribers. I know it's like we've got less than 100. We're on like 2,605. So, you know, if 50 of you tell two mates, we'll get there in no time. <laughs> so hopefully with your continuous support, guys, you know, with a subscribe to the channel, we can reach 2,700 subscribers by the end of the month. But that's it. That is me rounding off episode one. So uh, until this Sunday, when we do episode two, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next sneaker talk video, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you then.